Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got part two of that Essence video for you guys today. So these products in this group, there are some things that I love, love, love. Cheek products to share with you and just some, well, and lip products. Oh my goodness, I love those too. So yeah, some good things to chat with you guys about. So if you are new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do these kind of videos on drugstore makeup. I love to do favorites videos, um, get ready with me's, empties, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about essence makeup. So let's get to it. I actually just realized I meant to put this in the other video when I was talking about eyeshadow. So let me get to this. So it says, prime your eyelids like a boss with this waterproof, long-lasting, non-creasing eyeshadow primer that instant, instantly intensifies color and prevents fallout. Super soft texture melts on the skin and is universal for all skin tones to give you a beautiful, intense, everyday eye look. Um, it's also infused with caring shea butter to help eyelid skin to keep eyelid skin moisturized and hydrated all day long. Ooh, I do not agree with that. So this is the, that's not what I've experienced with it. This is the Prime Like a Boss eyeshadow base. So it says intensifying, long lasting, no creasing, universal shade. So I do have this on my lids. I've tried this multiple times. I would not say that actually before reading that description, I would have never known that this is supposed to be a more hydrating eyeshadow base. Cause this is sor sort of more of like a silky, uh, like, face primer kind of a feeling on the lids. And I have found that my lids have gotten a little bit more dry with it. So what I was going to say before reading that, that's, that's really interesting. I'm going to reach for this more in the summer where my skin is oilier, my eyelids are oilier. So for winter time, this is a little bit too, um, not moisturizing is what I'm finding with it. So I do think it helps with the intensity and longevity of my eyeshadows. But as far as the formula goes, I have not found this to be a more hydrating one. So I'm going to reach for it more in the summertime when I need more of that kind of longevity and not as hydrating of an eyeshadow like primer base, whatever. These pure nude baked blushes, I love so much. I ordered I think two initially loved them so much I ended up ordering all the shades because I think these are just absolutely gorgeous. They are $5.99 on the Essence website, so very affordable. Um, it says the Pure Nude family just got a little bigger, so they have their baked blushes now. Go to for a bright, healthy glow. It's a creamy, silky blush formula with a highly pigmented baked texture. Uh, let's see, fresh, healthy looking complexion. Yes. Okay. So let's go through the different shades. My very rude camera cut me off just then. Okay, so let's go through the different shades. So this one, Pink Flush, the first one I have to share with you, this one has micro shimmer in it. So just know that about it. I can't, I'm not wearing it today, but I can see this when I have it on my cheeks, but it's not overly glittery, but it is in there. It's got that micro shimmer to it. So just know that about this specific shade. Pink Flush, it is right there so beautiful love this color right there i really can't see it as much but when i've looked really closely i can see it when i'm wearing this one on my skin so then shimmery rose it's kind of a like a pinky peach i would describe this one as i guess maybe it's right in between a pink and a peach but i love that one so beautiful this one is pretty peach kind of more of an orangey peach adorable that's going to be so fun for spring and summertime cool coral this one i would say is kind of a in between a pink and a, like a peachy shade like a pink and a coral right in between beautiful um this one is let's see where are we going over here bold heart yes we're on that one bold heart so that one's a really pretty kind of brighter coral love that one then um this one is rosy rosewood that's adorable just kind of a mauvey pink beautiful then we have uh, berry cheeks more of a berry shade just gorgeous overall i would say these kind of have more of like a satin glow they're beautiful on the skin and then this one is goldie cassis goldie cassis and this one's kind of more of a purpley mauve a really beautiful kind of unique shade and has that one seems to have a little bit more glow than the rest of them yeah it seems to have just a little bit more of a well no, maybe not. It's just swatched in a weird place. <laughs> They're all so pretty. They just have that beautiful satiny look on the skin. I don't notice that micro shimmer in any of them except for that first shade right there. So yeah, I do have this on. I have on 
shimmery rose, but I have it on with a couple other things layered with it. Great formula, buildable, not difficult to work with, really blends into the skin beautifully, looks really pretty on the skin, wears pretty well for being a baked blush formula, but if you want the most longevity, I would layer it with some of the other cheek products I'm about to mention to you. But I really, really like these. I think if you like baked blushes, you'll like these. Then we have the Baby Got Blush little blush sticks. I love these. The packaging matches the product inside. So cute. These, these do have a scent to them, so just know. I would say like that one smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers to me. It smells good. This one kind of like, I don't know what that one smells like. I, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be different scents or if they're, because they all smell kind of similar, but they have that sort of watermelony, fruity sort of a scent to them. I actually really like the scent of them. I don't really notice it once I get it on my cheeks, but as I'm applying it, I can definitely smell it. I think it smells good. Okay, so these, let's see, it says a perfect touch of color in an instant. It's a creamy blush stick that applies and blends easily for a boost of color to brighten your cheekbones and give you a fresh, more radiant look. So there are three different shades. This first one is Tickled Me Pink. This is definitely the one that I'm reaching for the most. I have this on today. Love, love, love that one. Then there is Peaches and Cream, which is a beautiful, bright peach. And then this last one is Rosé All Day, which is kind of more of a reddish, rosy sort of a shade gorgeous oh my goodness i love these i find that they apply really easily i use a small stipple brush they're pigmented but not difficult to work with they do have a beautiful glow on the skin again with the wear time i would kind of say like the baked blushes they're nothing like that with formula but as far as the longevity i think they wear pretty well by themselves but if you want more longevity i would layer them with the baked blushes but I just think they are such a beautiful formula, look really gorgeous on the skin. I love the different colors. I love these. And then I have one more cheap product, but it's a stain, so I will leave that for the end. So some lip products. So this is the Extreme Care Hydrating Glossy Lip Balm, and I got the shade Milky Cocoa, which was not a good move. This is not a flattering color for me personally, so I should have gotten a different shade. But it says that this is an ultra-nourishing, rich liquid lip balm. And it is infused with moisturizing hyaluronic acid, vegan collagen substitute, and shea butter. It is supposed to provide eight hours of hydration to keep your lips soft all day long. And I think it just comes in three shades. So let me show you a quick swatch of this. Cute packaging. Looks like the other um, glosses from them that are similar to this. So this is supposed to be the extreme wear. It's kind of a smaller angled doe foot applicator, which is fine. And this one is... Kind of like a cool toned cementy neutral shade like it's more it's just more of a cool toned neutral um so i applied this lightly and it worked applied lightly but when i had more of it on it's just not a flattering color for me personally so but i like the formula it smells good it has a beautiful vanilla scent to it that's not overpowering but still really nice it's super glossy and beautiful um, it is more of kind of a tacky formula, but you know when it's talking about like longevity That's usually the case. So if you're going for more longevity with a gloss, it's usually tackier But I like tacky glosses. I'm fine with that. I like regular glosses. I'm fine with that, too So I love the shine on this. I would definitely not say eight hours of wear I think it feels nice on the lips and it does have good longevity for being a gloss But not like all day or anything like that but it does feel nice on the lips and i do think it has some hydration sort of properties to it that you know feels nice on the lips so i do like this i just want the i need to get the peachy color which is soft peach then i got the what the fake plumping lip filler and i got the shade oh my nude yes i think is the shade i got oh my nude yes oh my nude there's also a clear it looks like so it says um, it helps you get the plump, full looking lips you've been longing for. Formulated with cinnamon oil and hyaluronic acid, this lip gloss instantly plumps your pout while the smooth velvet finish leaves lips feeling super soft and moisturized with a luminous pearly nude finish. Okay, so this is what the outside box looks like. Here is the packaging. Applicator on it is a longer kind of doe foot applicator, not angled. I like this. If you like a plumping lip gloss, I think you'd like this. This has more of that tingle feeling on the lips and I mean kind of like 
pepper or I mean it says cinnamon yeah it kind of feels like you got like some pepper on your lips or something love this color has kind of a cinnamony scent to it but it's kind of more subtle but nice and shiny looking I would say plumping I don't really know I think it's more so just the glossy shine on the lips that makes the lips look fuller but overall I like it for it being that kind of plumping lip gloss I think it seems like a nice one. I don't reach for these as much as just a regular lip gloss, but I think this one is a nice one and I love this color. Then I got some lip liners. These are the eight hour matte comfort lip liners. And it says for a long lasting lip color that won't quit, choose your eight hour matte comfort lip liner. It's long wearing formula glides on smoothly delivering full coverage and staying power. The lightweight formula helps to keep lips feeling comfortable throughout the day. It contains an exclusive sharpener on the bottom of its cap for easy application. So I got three different shades. I got Cinnamon Spice. Cinnamon Spice, just a nice neutral shade. Another neutral there is Rosy Nude. This one's kind of more on the pinky side. That one's my favorite shade that I got. And then Cool Mauve, which is more of kind of a rosy, deeper mauve. Really pretty, I like these. Um, I like that they're retractable. That makes it just really nice and simple. I like that the outside packaging matches the color inside makes it easy to know what color you're grabbing for. And it's a really good formula. It seems like that formula that you can kind of fill in your lips and get nice long wear with it. You can, you know, apply it with something over top like a gloss or a, a lipstick, or you can use it as a traditional liner. I think it's good and affordable. I love these lipsticks. These are adorable and I really like the formula. These are the Hydra Matte lipsticks. So I got three different shades, adorable packaging. So cute. It says, you can have a matte look with a caring formula that hydrates and moisturizes your lips while simultaneously creating full lips without clumps, flakes, or cracks. And yeah. Okay, so this is what they look like, the packaging on them. Love the bright kind of, I don't know, corally pink, neon pink. So cute. These do have a scent to them, and I think they're like supposed to smell kind of like these, like that watermelon Jolly Rancher scent but a little bit funky. I've said this before. It got a little funky. Like it's it's sort of that, but then a little bit on the chemical-y side. But I like the formula so much that I can deal with the scent. And once I get it on my lips, it's totally fine. It's not like horrible, but I can just kind of smell a little bit of like a chemical something to it. So I got three different shades and I love them all. So let me get them out. So, okay, first one, Mauve Mint, Mauve Mint. That's that one, Mauve Mint. So I have these two kind of combined on my lips. So first off, Mauve Mint. Then next up, this one is Virtue Rose. Virtue Rose, kind of more of a, like a rose, but that has a pinky sort of, or reddish sort of a tint to it, which I love. I love that shade. I love this one too. I've been reaching for these a ton. And then a beautiful red. This one is Berry Special. Super cute name. These are a really nice matte lipstick formula. I find them to be really comfortable on the lips, um, flattering looking, long wearing, just a really good formula. So yeah, I love the packaging. I love the formula. I love the colors that I got. The scent is just the only thing, but it's, it's really not that bad. It's just like, just sort of a little bit funky. And then last thing, back to that tint. So this is the What A Tint Lip and Cheek Tint. And it says it is a non-sticky, natural two-in-one tint for lips and cheeks rosy tinted stain that gives your lips and cheeks a flush of color without the fuss so you'll look naturally beautiful in no time at all best of all this multi-use product is long lasting so you'll be ready for ready to take on the day no matter what okay so this is what it looks like and it has that kind of smaller doe foot applicator with it i'm trying to be careful with this because it is more of a stain this is what it looks like once you kind of get it on your skin I would say work quickly with this. That is what I have found with it. Like that right there already started to set. So I would say you just gotta work really fast with it. Go in little small sections with it. See, it's not blending as well on my hand, but I did not find that on my cheeks at all. I put it on my cheeks and then I blended it with a small stipple brush and it blended really nicely. Just quickly, but not as quickly as there. So don't go by that. I like it. It has kind of a reddish berry sort of a color. It looks hot pink there, but it's really more of kind of a berry red very nice and long wearing um i like to i haven't really tried it on my lips because i don't really go for stains like that on my lips but you do have that option um but yeah i've been wearing it kind of like paired with other things 
and I'm already trying to take it off and you can see it is a staining sort of a product and I didn't even have it on there that long so I'm having to kind of scrub so if you want longevity and you're looking for that kind of stain sort of a product, it also stained my finger. It's good. It really is good. Just work very quickly and in small little sections. Like I would say, have your brush ready, tap it on and instantly blend it. And then you're going to get that nice longevity with it. It's good. All right, you guys. So those are all the goodies that I have to share with you in this part two video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below what you think about these products. If you've tried any of these or even from part one, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on them. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.